piggy piggy. Hey! It's getting hot. Hey, who are you? Crash! Crash! That's what happens on our hills, friend. You die. He's ready for it. The hell? Mr. Morgan. You still here, kid? Yes. Mama... Mama can't leave. It won't leave. I, I don't know. I said I had the money. It, she said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better to die than to take it. <laughs> Maybe she's right. I don't know. I don't know anything about morals. She's still heading out. Working, you know? I'm sorry, son. <gasps> sorry about all of this. She ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fellow down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, you say? Uh, that way. Around the woods, towards uh, Willard's Rest. I'll see what I can do.
Time to go, boy. Nice out here, huh? That's enough now, partner. Oh. You're starting to scare me, let alone the poor woman. Clear off. Who are you? Someone who don't want to hear no more of your nasty mouth. Push me. I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. I'll see you again, dearie. <sighs> Listen. Listen to me. <coughs> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. I know. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I was uh, a fool. And I'm suffering for my foolishness. But don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. You have a son, Mrs. Downs. I'm just so ashamed. Ashamed? <laughs> of what? <laughs> you loved him. <laughs> you did everything for him. <laughs> Let's get you home. Let's go. Yep. I'm sorry I had to come to this. Stop saying sorry. Sorry won't bring Thomas back. I know. <laughs> so you're sick now, too? And you think that affords you the opportunity for penance for cutting his time short? No. I ain't looking for that. Okay, then. So just forget about me and the guilt you're carrying, because no good can come of that for either of us. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Help someone who can still be helped. Or help yourself. I suppose you're right. Oh, hang yourself for all I care. You're right to dislike me. I ain't looking for that to change. Archie should be waiting for us just up ahead. someplace else start over here take this I don't need it no more I don't want your money yeah I know you don't want it I don't you sure as shit need it take it no I ain't looking for forgiveness it ain't about that but don't forgive me just take the money and get out of here please I know I ruined your life I suffer for it every day but don't let yourself get killed for, for pride I seen it kill too many folk don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and pack your bags. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please.
in time. I know he's your husband, but it's gonna be... Well, it's gonna be violent. I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there, you heard him. Now, let's go. But... But nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well... Well, I ain't the crime sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. All right. Here goes nothing. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot and look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Uh, how many times, Marston? <clears throat> okay, bring us over. We good? Uh-huh. Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Stay low.
Okay. Come on up. All right. Where's John? Grab that raffle. You can use the scope. Hey, I think I see him. There's a group. In front of that barn, just to our right. Ah, uh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay, take them out, and let's go get our boy. Okay. Nice. Wait, shit! I don't think that was John. Well, let's go over there and see. Okay, come on. I think one of those guards was still moving. John Marsden? I, he ain't... He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now! Where's John Marsden? Uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go and get him together. Try anything, and I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes. Very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, partner. <clears throat> and why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. Oh, God. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Hold your fire! Bastard. <laughs> Please. Okay, friend, be cool now. Just. Do as I say. Drop the goddamn guns! Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's in sound to me. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me 
John Marston, right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Um, uh, Milliken, uh, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, or so? very funny. No, we must be at eleven by now. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Faster. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Now hurry up! Eighteen. Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Hey, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. Don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Oh, you too? Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Milliken here will stop crying once and for all. Okay. Today's your lucky day. Let's go! Take my pistol. Let's clear these and make a run for it! You want to run this thing? Look out on the left! Coming from the board! Come on!
What are you doing? Let's go! <sighs> you always seem to need rescue at Marston. <sighs> Nice to see you, Arthur. Ah, uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys. Let's move. I'll roll. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You... You're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. Keep them off us. Turn that one around, or we will gun you down. Can't do that, fellas. You know, I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prized chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up! They're gonna be on our tail soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. Ugh. Hey, Arthur! Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. in San Denis. Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. And then we... What about the the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It was the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait. Hey! You're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but... Things ain't been good, John. <laughs> You're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah. Seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so... Might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Or... Maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not. Told you we would. John! What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then? Arthur. Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. 
loyalty. Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John! John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Oh, sorry. I was miles away, thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. Arthur, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, he ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems... To have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I... I have you as a friend. you when no other son of a bitch would. Oh, and him? Where's Uncle. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. Kane. Where's Kane? Miss Grimshaw, have you seen Kane? No, son, sorry I haven't. I'm sure he'll turn up, though. He's a wanderer. I'm really worried. Kane! Come on! Kane! Dear sir, Kane! you were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness, but I have nowhere else to turn and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them, as if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days, I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are, thankfully, no more. Yours faithfully, Penelope Braithwaite.
Hello, Arthur. Hello, Arthur. Yeah. Damn fine weather, ain't it? <laughs> sure is good. Thanks, mister. Ready for a clean slate? Take care now. Yep.
Settle down, boy. <laughs> Evening, fella. here to cause trouble. Oh, you want to cash your chips in?
Easy now.